We're here at the Audio Engineering Convention, AES, in New York, and we want to hear what's new in audio. So let's go check it out. Okay, so we're at SSL. Uh, can you tell me what you brought to the show? Sure. Uh, well, my name is Phil Wagner. I'm Senior Vice President of SSL. And we have a number of new things here at AES. First of all, we're happy to be back at AES after a three-year break, and the show's been phenomenal. So over here we have the System T, which is uh, a focus now uh, in immersive music mixing. So it's an 800 input digital console with workstation control, and we've been focusing it on broadcast, but because it has input capacity, busing, and monitoring for 7.1.4, it's a perfect tool for music mixing for things like Atmos, where that's uh, the market for music mixes and going towards Atmos. So we're very happy about that. And then over here, we have our latest audio creation product. So we just introduced a new profile for the UC1. Uh, that's a plug-in controller. And then we're now M1 compatible for the UF8 fader controller. So that's a new innovation at the show. And then we have our audio mixing consoles here, the 6 and the Big 6. And uh, we just introduced the Origin uh, version because we have the Origin 32 channel console we've had for about three years now and we've delivered hundreds of those hundreds of them to studios all over the world and now at this show we just brought in the Origin 16 so it's a smaller uh, version of Origin and we're very happy that's gonna we think that's gonna do really well we saw a lot of people there can you can you tell me why they're all interested in that well, SSL is a name that people know for very many years, and we've got a lot of people who have worked on our products forever, and they always come to our booth to see the latest and greatest from SSL, and we're very happy that they do. Hey, I'm Chris Thornalgy. We are here at the SSL booth today uh, at the wrap-up of AES 2022, and this is their new console, the Origin 16, which is basically a 16-channel version of the regular Origin, which is 32. So. The great thing about this desk is because it gives you such a small footprint, and where'd she go? She's going to want to come around on this side. So it gives you a small footprint and gives you a 16-channel inline console, which gives you 32 channels, gives you the SSL sound, super small footprint, okay? And it could be, it could really be for the first person that's moving from a, a mouse or, you know, mouse with a laptop to um, a real format console. So it's a great next step out of just in the box only. So they can use this to sum to or just directly mix on it. All right, what can we find here at Terry? You could find uh, kind of meticulously hand-built recreations from the kind of great audio circuits from the last 50 years brought to a modern age that are easily re repairable and love to tune in to uh, you know, the classic sounds of yeah, five decades. Uh, so I came from a service tech standpoint, and I've done a lot of things for different uh, mixers and mastering engineers and all kinds of different things, right? And uh, one thing that, that we usually do is you know, collect all these different great vintage pieces of gear and plug them into each other to use all our favorite spots, but you know, that could really weigh down the sound and it could change a lot. I and mean, if we don't want that change for a variety of different music, you know, um, we've been going to plugins, you know, because you could change so much. So I've always wanted to make for myself and a variety of other producers I've worked with something that you can access all of those different sounds and eras with great build quality and uh, be able to do it outside of the box and hardware where it's always kind of fantastic because real is, is real. It's something about it. A plugin is always somewhat digital and it's kind of the end of vaporous, I guess you could say. Okay, so a bit of Fleetwood Mac you can play here. And Oh yeah, totally. I mean, that's the reason why those those records sound that great and, and, and amazing to this day. They're made with you know hands-on faders and and real parts and carbon things and not just metal. So if it sounds earthy, it's probably made with these organic parts and oil soaked things. It's kind of cool. I love that stuff. It, your inside is out. It's no no kind of hidden tricks. You just build it good and it sounds like it. Yeah. So you know you could put it completely in and out. I wanted to make something that didn't have English on the panel. Come on, you know, like it's <laughs> the basic function. So you know if you want to you want to you know low boosts and and the low cuts, they're color coded for the low end, you know. Um, you're able to go to the mid range frequencies, and as you go up, you go to the treble cuts and the treble boost. Oh, look, we're missing Golden Hour. We're at Digico, one of Checkroom's customers, so we'd love to hear what they brought to AES this time. Can you tell me? 
Hey, how are you doing today? Very so good. We're at the AES show in New York. It's great to have a trade show where everybody's around here seeing a lot of product. So what we have at this show is we've got our smaller systems, the S series, S21 and 31. We also have the Foria 4 system, which is great for big infrastructures of systems. You can use it for, uh, like I say, at a big festival to drive the entire PA and all the distribution and emergency stuff. We then also, just today, we launched the theater version of the Quantum 338. So this is used, we probably do about the 95% of all the Broadway shows around the world on West End, East End, as well as the um, off-Broadway shows. And what's interesting with the digital product line is they can, use the live version, the broadcast version, or the theater version. So all these engineers understand the platforms. We also have the Clang three-dimensional immersive sound personal mixing system. So that allows us to actually concentrate what we're doing in front of house, but we've got musicians in maybe the pit or at a church where they can do their own personal mixing. So they've got their own little control so that the engineer doesn't have to babysit every single engineer. So at the AES show, we actually have the variety of desks. So we've also got the Quantum 225. The Quantum 225 is a single screen version where this is the, the three screens. What's nice about Digico is we've got multiple models depending on what what you need for your requirement for your show for today but also to future proof so we've had a great show it's great to see a lot of people here in new york thanks a lot for coming and we do love you guys yeah <laughs> who, who doesn't love check room <laughs> thank you so much right. All right, what did you bring to uh, Sony today? So this is uh, 360 Reality Audio, and specifically this is the 360 Walk Mix Creator. It's a plugin that's available in any DAW, and it allows you to create 360 Reality Audio uh, deliverables to streaming services. What's so special about it? What's special about it is you can place any audio object on a sphere, and you can create a spatial audio uh, track and then deliver that to a streaming service. Uh, there are multiple deliverables that you can do. You can do MPEG-H, uh, SAM Wave, uh, ADM as well. And there are just countless formats. We're constantly building even more. OK, can you tell me what we're seeing here? Yeah, hi. Uh, you want me to hold this, or do you want to hold it? I, it's whatever. Whatever works, all right. <laughs> So I might wander around a little bit. Hi, I'm Bruce with Distro Pro Audio and Pro Audio Design. Uh, Distro Pro Audio is the OS importer and exclusive distributor of Sontronics microphones, which are designed and built in the UK on the South Co Coast in Dorset Pool. So there's about just under 20 products uh, on their roster at this point. And one of the most popular ones is this striking little gem over here called the Podcast Pro. The Podcast Pro is designed uh, and released about three, three and a half years ago as uh, the burgeoning podcast vlogging uh, phenomenon occurred, especially through the pandemic. Lots and lots of people got into that game. And uh, this is available in seven decorator colors. Right now we have bling gold here for you. Uh, some of the interesting factors are, besides its striking looks, are that it has internal circuitry that gives you uh, 10 dB more signal than other microphones of this type that you see on the, micro on the market. That means you don't need to turn your mic breeze up very much. Your background noise stays level. It's also a super cardioid mind. For the people who are on stage, or in studio and they're looking for something that came from the future or maybe jumped out of the past all at the same time. We have the Corona microphone, which allows a fully suspended uh, system to be inside this nice ring and it gives you a, a nice little bling. So we, we find people who have uh, bluegrass bands and, 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 and other sort of ensembles where they gather around a microphone. This is a really nice mic for that. It, it both gives them a, a, a visual cue that's authentic, but it also has great sound and great direct pickup on it, you know? Okay, so Eventai, can you tell me what you do? Hi, uh, I'm Colin from Eventide. I'm the product manager for plugins. Um, this is um, the Eventide 2022 booth at uh, AES, and we are showing off um, our structural effects series plugins. So, this is going to allow people to really dive into the transient and tonal portions of their audio, which is um, a great 
level of selectivity. So for instance, if you think of uh, a vocal track and you have like harsh sibilance, that shows up as transient information. And then like the breathiness and the tone, the body of the voice shows up as tonal information. So we have these two plugins. Uh, this one is Fission Mark II, which allows you to then um, combine multi-effects on top of those. So for instance, if I wanted my vocal track to uh, have a reverb, which is not activated by the sibilance, I could pull up a tonal reverb, and that would be how you accomplish that, just like that, right? Now, um, the other plugin is Split EQ. Give me one second. So this is Split EQ, and uh, we released this in November of last year. Um, and it's the same concept, so you can split uh, transient and tonal audio from, uh, uh, into separate components and then uh, apply separate EQ curves to those components, which is really a handy level of selectivity. You know, as engineers and producers, this is not foreign to us. We like multi-band compressors because you want to affect one portion of the track without applying collateral damage to the remainder, right? Because there's integrity of the track that you want to maintain. So by operating over a shorter portion of the audio, be it transient or tonal, you are actually maintaining more of that integrity by applying less of an effect to the overall signal. <laughs> okay, <laughs> one, two, three, yay! <laughs> you want me to like lie on the ground and be like, I can do that, I can give you that. I'm going for it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what can we see here today? Yeah, absolutely. So we're here at the Allen & Heath booth, and there are a couple of things that we're showing off here in the corner. So we have the AHM series, which is uh, more for commercial installation, so in schools or houses of worship or hospitals. If you want to, ha on the back end, have very complex routing, uh, but then to give to the person who's actually using the system a very simplified control system, uh, we have all these hardware controllers where they have physical faders that they can use, as well as touch panels where they can, uh, you can make a custom application for them that's very simplified, uh, as well as rotaries, and we have uh, you know standard like light switch controls. Uh, so you can, on the back end, be, do very, very complex matrix routing and uh, if, you know for conference rooms or whatever it is, and then give it to the customer who doesn't necessarily know much about audio and have them control everything very easily. And we also have our DLive CTI 1500. This is uh, part of our flagship DLive series, so it's still a 128-channel core, uh, but it's in a very compact form factor that's easy to travel with. So this is more geared towards live sound and touring. You can, it's made of titanium. You can just bring this on most planes, and it, it meets the uh, requirements, the weight requirements, so you can just carry it on with you. Um, and it still mixes that same 128 channels, still the same sound of our S5000 or S7000 flagships. So our Avanta series, this is a 64 channel digital mixer. Um, it's fully configurable, so you could reassign the faders, re you know, rearrange them however you want. There's 42 configurable buses, so if you want a certain amount of auxes or groups or matrices or effects, uh, effects buses, uh, you can fully configure those to, uh, to suit your needs depending on the context. So if you're using it more of, as a monitor console, you can increase your aux count. If it's front of house, you can use more groups. Uh, so it's really a very customizable console. Uh, it goes up to 64 channels at 96K. It's compatible with our Everything I.O. ecosystem, so all of our different size stage boxes. It has iPad control, uh, it has Dante, Waves, MADI, so it's fully expandable, very flexible, and uh, that's what we're looking for at Allen & Heath, is to make something that suits everyone and that could suit many different situations. Thank you so much, very You're cool. Welcome. You're very welcome. So can you tell me what's new at Neumann? So we have just reissued our M49 microphone, the M49V, which is um, a legendary microphone. It was in production from 51 to 1951 to 1971, so pretty long production. And um, it's an iconic tube microphone. So it's a very, like it has a very warm character, very vintagey, if that's a word. It was used by Miles Davis, for example, back in the day. Barbara Streisand owns her, her her own M49, basically, and so we just reissued that. Um, it has, as I said, a very warm, tubey character, and um, we have displayed um, two other microphones right here because they are in the same capsule family, like the K49 capsule. Um, we have another tube microphone here that is 
kind of known as the modern version of the M49. So it's a bit more, I would say it's a bit more appropriate for pop productions because it's a more, let's, let's in more high, higher frequencies. So it sounds a bit more modern, right? Um, and also we have the TLM 49 right over there, which is kind of, um, it's not a tube microphone, it emulates a tube. So it has that tube sound character, but it's more hassle free, you know, because you don't have to use a, an external power supply. Um, it's great for home recording, it's not as expensive, so that's um, that's a great microphone to start out with if you want to have that K49 capsule sound character of a tube. Alright, that was it for AES. If you liked this content, just subscribe to our channel and you'll see a lot more of this. See you soon!